Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add our right kernel inside your Jupyter notebook or Jupyter lab. So, first of all, you must have our installed. So, if you already have our installed, just go to you click on the R, right? The R console, then you move on with this instruction. So, it's the first method. So, you go to install dot packages. Sorry for the noise because it's it's this thing. The first year okay so dev tools right so now so that is how to install so you are first of all going to install the dev packages right so because already it's going to give you this instruction you click on the first one for everywhere that is the cloud depending upon your country you can also select then click on ok so it's going to download it from the website right the mirror website so after downloading it it's going to give you that's already downloaded it nice so then the next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go with dev tools right the one that the package that you installed first then install github then inside this bracket you're going to put the, the direction right which is going to be ir kernel the key is small letter then slash ir kernel again right so this is going to be used to download a package the ir, IR kernel so after, to take some time to download but i already i have it already installed so just move that's why it's giving us this so after that you just go with i r kernel then install spec so this is how to install it but in case you're having two different versions of of uh, R, right? Maybe 3.32 or 3.3. So like, then you are going to put this one here. You're going to put the name, you're going to specify it. So the name is going to be, say, IR32, right? That is for the 3.2. Or maybe 3.3, that is the one you are using. So the version that you want. Then you go with display name so this is a name that is going to be showing to you so that you know what you're running to r three why r three <laughs> three three right so it's going to show me this thing. so that's another method of that you have even two different methods so after that that's all so you only launch your jupyter notebook go back to system which I've already, I'm already running here, so I'll refresh. So when I refresh, you see that it's going to be showing here. Perfect. So that is how to add our kernels to your Jupyter notebook or Jupyter lab. It actually works perfectly like normal R. So when I click on it, everything works like the normal R. So so a. So thank you for watching. You see that it's showing here, right? Thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Stay blessed.